back to the uh, channel everyone. Uh, today we're taking a look at SG Technologies Limited who are situated in Tesla House, Ferry Lane, Raynham on an RM13 postcode and Ferry Lane is uh, maintained at public expense uh, so we are on public land whilst um, filming. So they're in Tesla House now I wonder if that's a clue as to uh, kind of what they do and uh, the industry that they're actually involved in. But before we go into that, here's some background uh, info. Now, uh, the company, oh, lost me uh, paperwork. Now, the company was incorporated on the 11th of September 1987 and currently has six um, directors. Uh, it has three outstanding charges and the accounts made up to the 31st of March 2022 show a turnover of 24 uh, sorry 22.4 million um, and after tax they actually made a loss of 231,000 uh, pound. In uh, April 2023 uh, there was a change in the directors with three removals and three new additions and uh, you need to update your website uh, guys because you're still showing details of previous directors who are actually no longer uh, with the uh, with the company. Now in uh, in April, uh, sorry, in April, Neo Performance Materials Incorporated acquired the controlling interest uh, for ten point eight million pound, and I'll stitch in some details, a uh, news article uh, of that, and the full details will be in the description as well. So, so what actually do this uh, company um, do? So, looking at the website. SGT have evolved into a world leader in the development and production of technical magnetic parts and assemblies using uh, specialised materials and, tech, uh, and technologies. Um, they have advanced uh, from manufacturing permanent magnets to highly technical and complex assemblies. Now, Today, their production lines feature state-of-the-art uh, state-of-the-art manufacturing technology and automation. Now, their products are used in the most demanding applications and environments, and are built to the highest specifications and quality standards. Now, they supply some of the world's leading brands in products such as electric and hybrid vehicles, multi-fuel and medium-duty engines, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles off-highway fuel systems, automotive systems and consumer electronics. So I have a look around the, uh, the website so let's get a little bit more information on uh, what they do and I'll stitch that in to the uh, video um, sort of as well. So with the change of directors earlier on this year I wonder if it was a kind of a bit of a, uh, a hostile uh, takeover or a management buyout or uh, an American company has actually invested quite heavily into the uh, into the business and you know I've had included more details in that uh, as well so it looks like they've got a bit of a smoking uh, shelter uh, just over there so, so uh, an assembly uh, sort of point uh, as well <coughs> so I don't know what that building at the back there so I don't know whether or not that's sort of where, extra warehousing I think got the reception just there. There's a few cu couple of cars in the car park, so it don't don't look like Teslas. So, but I wonder if they're the technologies and what they use actually are used in uh, in Tesla vehicles. And I wonder if that's the the reason for an American company getting involved uh, as well. I'll have a look at that company as well to see. Uh, if uh, Elon Musk is in, uh, involved in that company uh, as well, so I can find out some uh, information about it. So, but again, it looks like quite an old uh, sort of building there. I don't think it's as old as the. Uh, go uh, the business next door, the uh, Goldschmidt uh, building, but it looks like there's an older building just there where the main reception is, and then there's a newer building built on the on the side as well. I 
there's someone in a car over there saying whether we get to speak to someone. So there's no video, no cameras or video recording the equipment. So that's obviously inside and that's probably to protect their intellectual uh, sort of uh, sort of properties. Uh, yep, I've been seen. So whether or not he comes over, but I'm on public land. So it says no pedestrian access, so let's have a read what the what the sign says. So deliveries must report from reception. I would say I'm possibly on their land uh, as we speak now. Uh, it's got COVID-19 sign just there. Uh, guys really not, not really paying much attention in what I'm uh, in what I'm doing. But I'm not crossing their boundary line. And I'll say their boundary line starts from that reception post. But I've got implied right of access. That guy there is just walking uh, walking off. He had a look across, not really showing any interest. Unless he's gone into a uh, report. And uh, maybe someone else comes out. If they do, I'll just ask about the takeover. Has that all gone smooth? So it's just gone, not showing any interest at all. Which is good, leaving us alone. Plenty of barbed wire around the siders. Bit of a gap there though, in the fence. So whether or not someone's tried to break in. Groundwork looks pretty clean, the grass is all cut. Uh, got a bench there for people to sit on and enjoy the weather, maybe come out and have, a, have their lunch in the fresh air. Got a grip bin just around this side as well. Another little bench for people to sit on. So we've got some trailers and wagons down the back. Yeah. So they turned over uh, sort of 22 million last year and there was a sort of a takeover of 10.8 million. You know, it's like sort of investment of just under half of their turnover as a part of the buyout. And I wonder if that's why the, uh, the three directors that left were a part of that buyout and the reason why we've got three new directors that have, uh, that have come in. Okay, well that guy hasn't really shown much uh, much interest in me. No one else has come out, which is good because we're not doing anything wrong. I'm on public land, just showing an interest in what they uh, what they do, and informing the uh, the public of the businesses that are in in this area and industry that's in the uh, in the UK. So I can't see any. So you've got plenty of parking, but I can't see any electric charging points uh, at all in here. But yeah, nice, uh, nice looking building to be fair. Again, nice and clean and tidy. They're taking, uh, making their business look uh, look good. Okay, guys, I think the only thing uh, for it now is to uh, stick Beverly up in the air and let's have a uh, have a look what uh, 
SG Technologies look like uh, from above. I'll be back with you in a few moments guys. See you soon. As always check with uh, drone assist, we're actually in a CTR at the moment and uh, as you know with this weight of drone we can actually fly in a, CT, uh, in a CTR. Okay, just waiting for this to start up. So all the checks are complete. And let's have a look what this company looks like from above. So there's the, uh, the front of the building. Wind is picking up a little bit, so I probably ain't gonna get as high as I normally go. Uh, I wouldn't talk it a high warning. So let's have a look first of all, see if there's any solar panels. So I can't see any solar panels on the uh, on the roof at all. So let's go down the side. containers lined up down the sides. Cars parked on the back, so they've got, so they've got skips at the back. What's in there? So it's like cardboard and wood. I don't know what's in the middle skip line. Let's go down the side here. So I've got some air conditioning units on the side. Yeah, they can't really see much really. Plenty of parking spaces. on the roof. Shame there's no uh, solar panels though. So let's take it nice and high. We'll get the uh, site in one shot. So that's the new building over there by the looks of it. No. Are they set the panels on the side there? Zoom in. Doesn't look like it. So let's go up. Get the site in one shot. And uh, we'll bring Beverly back and then move on to the next, uh, next location. So 120 metres, and that's the site in uh, in one shot. So let's look to bring Beverly back now. So 
a cry out. I'm still over the site next door.